Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jason's RC Reviews. Today, we will be doing a review on the Aerosim RC Radio Control Training Simulator. This is a beginner RC airplane simulator and a trainer as well. It has some training courses, so it can teach you how to fly RC planes. Uh, this simulator features RC airplanes, as you can see, uh, it has a helicopter. And it also features some quadcopters such as uh, the DJI Phantom 2 Vision, which is pretty neat. And has all sorts of other different quadcopters as well. Before we go on, I would like to thank PCB Wave for sponsoring this video. PCB Wave is an online store where you can get custom PCBs. They currently have a large Christmas sale going on where there's all sorts of discounts and coupons on PCBs. If you're looking to get any PCBs this year, definitely check them out. Now I'd like to say thanks to Aerosim for sending me this simulator, but keep in mind that it was Aerosim that sent me the simulator, not PCB Way. So looking at the box here, you have up top Aerosim RC Radio Control Training Simulator. The box kind of shows off most of its airplanes and drones. Um, up front, I guess you got a little P fifty one here. Uh, the company's website. Uh, USB so your cable is going to connect via USB here you can see it does feature FPV which is pretty neat uh, here you can see a little picture of what the FPV looks like and here's some other pictures as well uh, it says minimum here's your minimum uh, requirements for your computer most computers these days will work with this sim just fine uh, here you also have some more pictures uh, you have FPV, a uh, big quadcopter there, and then you also have a, I'm not sure what type of plane that is, but it's in the sun. Uh, and then you have some rings here with the P-51 flying through it. Here you just have more pictures and uh, some features here, training, copter training, FPV, and games. And here you can see uh, all the different types of connectors that uh, you can get. Uh, the regular one just comes with a mono jack, which will work with uh, most Spectrum radios. Uh, I know the DX4 and DX5 work because that is what I'm using. Uh, you can see you can even plug it into your DJI Phantom 2 remote if you do have a DJI Phantom 2. Uh, those are a little old now. I don't think you can buy those anymore, but if you do have one, you can use it and use it just like your uh, regular Phantom 2. So, opening up the box here, just pull this open. And as you can see, here we have some things. It looks like here we have our cable for our transmitter. So this is the USB end that's going to attach right onto your PC or laptop. And here's your little mono jack end that's going to work with your Spectrum radio. I'm not sure if other radios are going to work with this. Uh, you'll just have to look at the back of your transmitter and, or read your manual. So the other thing we, that we have in the box here looks like it is the... DVD for the simulator itself. So you got it in this little paper plastic packet. And here you go. It says Aerosim Radio Control Training Simulator. Um, insert the CD and run setup.exe. So basically you're just gonna, if your computer doesn't have a DVD drive, you I the simulator is either not gonna work for you or you can actually uh, buy a DVD drive separate that just uses the USB port uh, if you want to install this. Those run for about 20 to 30 bucks. Uh, just keep that in mind. You're going to need to get one. So the simulator just like I said before connects via the USB cable. Uh, the setup is pretty simple as it walks you through how to set everything up. Uh, so, I have got the simulator set up on my laptop. 
Uh, I guess now I'll switch to the laptop and we'll start trying out the simulator. Okay, so guys, now we are in the simulator. And as you can see, we have a little trainer playing here. And this is very similar to like a Nexstar style trainer. And as you can see, the graphics aren't the greatest, but the main purpose of the simulator isn't to show a super realistic airplane. It's supposed to teach people how to fly real RC airplanes, drones, and helicopters. So, uh, I think the simulator would be probably best for someone who just wants to try RC, but doesn't want to spend a whole lot of money. Uh, this simulator comes in pretty cheaply. And, uh, yeah, if you just want to try it out, you just don't really want to waste a lot of money. And let's face it, a lot of people will try it and they won't like it. And they'll have hundreds and hundreds of dollars invested into a plane that they're never going to get that amount back out of. So, uh, let's just try a few airplanes here. We'll start off with this uh, next star looking plane. Okay, so now we got everything lined up and let's just take off here. So this is going to be the air beginner airplane. So as you can see, we have just taken off. Now I do feel like it, like it takes a bit much up authority to get this off the ground. Uh, but that might be just how this plane is in real life. But it does seem like it does take a bit much. Now this plane flies pretty nicely. It's a very... Nice little beginner setup for the simulator. And as you can see, I'm full, holding full up just to keep it inverted. And yeah. So as you can see, there's there's this first plane. I'm just doing more or less bag and yank for this, for this one. As it doesn't really need a whole lot of rudder to turn nicely. Got it in the sun there. Okay, let's take this in for a landing. Now I find that uh, sometimes the hardest thing in a simulator is actually landing. And that's mostly due to me in real life being able to look down and see where uh, the plane is relative to the runway. And in a simulator, you, can, you don't have that ability. So as you can see, I'm coming in a bit fast there, but there you go. So let's move on to another airplane. So as you can see, we have uh, quite a few different airplanes here. We have all of these different ones. I'm just going to be going over uh, a couple of them, as if I went over all of them, this video would probably be a couple of hours long. So let's just try for the first one. Let's try this Dolphin 3. Okay, so to hand launch, you press Control Space. And that more or less just throws it into the air. Um, it looks like... Is this a 3-channel or 4-channel? I'm not quite able to tell because this is just so slow at the moment. I'm thinking this is a 3-channel. Not sure. Oh. Okay, got it in the sun. Okay. So this plane also flies quite nicely and it's very similar to like a Hobby King plane. Hobby King also makes a lot of planes like this. I will be having a Hobby King P-51 on the channel soon. It's going to be my first Warbird. So let's just take this thing in for a landing here and we'll move on to uh, a couple more planes and then we'll move on to the drones and helicopters. So we landed way out there. Okay, now let's move on to another plane. We'll move on to something a little bit different. Uh, let's try this extra 300S. Now, I find that this plane can be a little bit weird at times. I do also have the real flight simulator, which I could do a review on if you guys are interested. Uh, but this one doesn't do 3D exactly as it should. It can do weird stuff at times that just obviously wouldn't happen in real life. 
And even with this one, it should not take this much up authority just to keep it in the air. So here we do a little bit of 3D. I'm not exactly, I'm not really skilled at 3D yet, but I'm hoping eventually I'll be able to get better at it. Trying to do a little bit of hover. See, this is, it's, this plane is just, I don't know if it's just hard to hover, hover in real life also, but, or maybe I just have no idea how to hover. That's probably what it is. So as you can see, we just stalled it out there. And let's, I guess, take this thing in for a landing. There you go, we brought it in for a little landing. So we'll move on to uh, one more plane here. Um, let's see what else there is here. We got a flying wing and we got a fun cub. Uh, my channel's been a lot about cubs recently, so let's just try out this cub. And this one just took off in like a few feet. I've seen this plane uh, on a few channels before. It looks to be a pretty decent little plane. Now that's something, that's just, that should not happen. I was holding full up, and it was not stalling, it was not putting its nose down, it was just more or less falling straight to the ground. It should have, its nose should have fell, and it should have regained airspeed, and it should have started flying again. So there is just a few little things that are not very realistic with this, but as you can see, I'm flying around here, and this is, this is pretty realistic. Like, I'd say if you can fly a plane, whoa, just hit that. If you can fly a plane in here, you could probably fly in real life just fine. If you learn how to fly it on here, you should be just fine in real life as long as you practice a lot. Now, for someone who is an experienced pilot, I don't think this simulator would be for you just because it's not super, super realistic. And there is only really one 3D plane, and there's not very many warbirds or jets on here. It's mostly focused on teaching someone how to fly. So guys, now I'll be showing you guys the FPV. So let's go over to aircraft, and we'll choose a flying wing, as that is what a lot of people use FPV for. So I guess it's on the other side. And there you go, there's your flying wing. And let's go over to our camera icon right here. And go to OSD. And there you have your uh, telemetry for your FPV camera. So control space to hand launch. And there we have our hand launch. And you can pretty much go flying around with this thing. It's quite a bit of fun flying around in FPV. The flying wing works quite well. And yeah, you can pretty much just go around hitting trees. I don't know how I got out of that, but. And there you go, going in between the trees here. And yeah, you can have quite a bit of fun flying this, flying any plane FB. You can set up any plane, you just have to click on the camera icon and then click on OSD and you will switch to a FPV camera. So there you go, we had our landing and uh, let's move on to the next thing I want to show you guys. So let's move on to a quadcopter here. Now this simulator does feature uh, the DJI Phantom 2 Vision and that's one we'll start off with because I do have a Phantom and I gotta say this thing is pretty uh, darn realistic to the actual Phantom. The Phantom 2 did not have altitude hold, I believe. Okay, so started off the propellers and taking off. And as you can see, you kinda have to control it automatically. And as you can see, it is pretty much just like the real thing. 
Uh, it will only let you bank a certain amount. And it flies pretty much just like even my Phantom 3 does. And uh, obviously this thing has FPV, so I'll, uh, I will be showing you guys the FPV. So basically, you just have to click on this little camera icon. And there you go, you are in the drone's view. Now this is obviously just a regular clear view. Uh, this is not, obviously it's not through FPV. This would be kind of similar to how your DJI would be. Uh, with the FPV camera, it would be obviously different. Uh, this simply doesn't doesn't show FPV uh, graininess as you get farther away, so that is one thing that is obviously differs from real life. So, it's just as you can see, everything works just fine, and we can even shut the propellers off midair if we want to. Uh, if you can't use return to home, there's a pro version that you will have to buy if you want to use options like return to home so motors have been cut and we are just falling to the ground so let's move on to the helicopter here i've never actually flown a helicopter i've flown some in simulators but i've never flown one in real life so i can't tell you exactly what they would be like in real life but i guess there is a helicopter here If you ever want to fly around with one for fun, I'm not sure if this is very realistic. I've never flown one in real life, as I said, so can't tell you exactly what how realistic this is. And there you go, we had a crash. So let's look at some of the training programs next. So to go to your training programs, you're just going to go to sim and then go down to uh, fixed wing. And as you can see here, we have all of these different trainings. But here we have all these different trainings. I'll just go over a few of them. So this is going to show your basic controls. And then you're supposed to mimic what that plane is doing just to give you an idea of the controls. So I'll just go over some more here. We have taxi, which will show you how to taxi straight. And obviously I'm not very good at taxiing, at least in this chase view. So that is one thing if they could, uh, this chase view is really never going to help you in real life. So probably just have it from your pilot position as you're never going to be in that view in real life. Okay. So guys, now we are doing the circuits. So basically you just put your throttle at 30% and you are following the plane. Now this is again ch chase view. So it's not super realistic, but I guess it will teach you the basic controls of an airplane. So obviously this is just gonna go on for quite some time. So let's just exit out and go into the ground. Okay, so we'll try out a few more of these. We'll do one of each. So take off, chase view again, take off and climb to 20 meters. It's a little bit touchy, but okay. Now you have to hold it straight and level if you want to get a successful takeoff from the game. Okay. Uh, landing. So basically just land the plane with the chase view and it will tell you uh, hold altitude and when it says land now that means it wants you to land So there you go that is our landing So let's move on to um, Flight patterns so this is low pass over the runway hold the stick at 30% so it Can be a little bit difficult to see just because it's more difficult to see it on a computer screen but let's see if we can do this and just barely, but we got it. 
So now let's check out some of the quadcopter training. So we're going to go to training program, multi slash heli, and we're just going to go to the DJI Phantom. So there you go. And we'll just go start with throttle control. So basically just put these two in and just bring it up and hold it where the arrows are. So hold it right there and it will turn green and give you a thumbs up. We'll check out a few more. We'll try hover and translate. So basically just this and then it wants you to hover inside the circle. Now obviously this is just, it's going to be pretty simple as the DJI Phantom controls. Uh, it has a GPS so it's going to control where it is. So you don't need to put in any stick input. So that's pretty simple with the Phantom. So let's just try last translate. So both sticks in and hold it there. And now this ring is going to move around and you're going to have to go to the ring. So there you go. And there you go. It moves, move with it. Moves again a little bit. That's going to be fine. And it gives you a thumbs up. So those are the training programs. Uh, I'll show you guys some of the maps now. So we have desert and fields. We are on the island. I'll start off with desert. And we'll just skip by that. And let's just try a jet. So I'll just use this jet. We haven't tried out this one yet. But here we go. So as you can see, it's basically just a big open space. And you can fly around. Uh, this It does have this uh, big uh, yellow aircraft uh, kind of mirrored image around your your actual aircraft just to help you keep orientation. Because when you're flying from a screen on a computer, it can be a little bit difficult to keep orientation as a little pixel on the screen is going to be a lot harder to see than your aircraft is going to be in real life. Now I just damaged it a little bit there. It shows you the damage icon. And there you go. We have our jet. This thing is going ridiculously fast. And I guess we'll try to land here. This is way too close, but take it around here again and I'll show you guys the other airport and it's a little bit out of control but that's what a simulator is for I guess we're landing way over there okay so we'll move over to the fields So here's basically, it's just a big open field. And basically you can just fly around. Most of these maps are just open. And it does make it super uh, good to your computer because it will make it so pretty much any computer can run this. Now we have this glider. I think it's supposed to be hand launched, but it does have the wheel underneath. So that was a bit of a sharp turn for that low, but yeah overall i think the simulator is best for a beginner pilot uh as i said before the airplanes can do some weird things but there you go so guys to wrap up this video i think that this is a very nice little simulator for a beginner i think that this is not going to really be any good for someone who is experienced as the physics are not the most realistic, uh, but it gets the job done if someone wants to learn how to fly. Uh, the drones and quadcopters work pretty well too. I've never flown a helicopter before, so I can't tell you exactly how the physics are for that, but it seemed okay. Uh, the FPV is pretty neat. Uh, I think the simulator would be best for someone who wants to learn how to fly a RC plane or drone. Uh, there's also a wireless version of the simulator that comes with an adapter for a receiver, I believe. And you can just connect a receiver to that and then connect it to your remote. 
Uh, there's also another version that comes with a Fly Sky remote for a complete beginner. Then you just get your remote with your simulator. So guys, uh, if this video helped you guys out, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.